Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, watch over us and our goings about as we make our way, as we set a, about the things that we, we had planned for today. And Lord, we pray that they will go well. We pray for the wellness of others in their journey, in their plans. But Lord, we also know that Life leads us wayward. There are hurdles in the road we weren't expecting, and some of us are going to struggle. Help us all to be mindful and watchful for those in trouble. And perhaps it won't be a loud enough event for us to have it forecasted and broadcasted right in front of us. No, help us to look. Help us to seek and to build an awareness of what is really going on in our world. Help us to ask questions, good questions. Help us not to get caught up in conspiracies and false theories and all of the, 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 the false news and gaslighting and hoopla. The, the mess that gets spoken by us to each other when we get so caught up in our own ideas that we can't even see reality anymore. And we can point at others for the way that they have done this and point at significant figures for the way they do it all the time. But we all have our part to play, even as listeners. So help us to learn and discern what is truth and to set that example forward, especially for those who are coming after we do our children and maybe not our children but our community's children lord we pray for the children of the world that have to put up with the harshness and the inability of older generations to care for one another and to care for this planet right now it looks like we're leaving them an awful mess and while we can ask you for forgiveness, help us to ask them for forgiveness too. Help us for the way we haven't taught them what they needed to know in order to deal with our mess. Lord, teach us the humility that comes when we recognize what really needs to be done to make this world a better place, to make it something worth handing forward, handing on to these brave young people. Lord, we pray for the callousness and the apathy that so many of them already have. But help us to stand in awe and wonder as well of the amazing people that you are still creating. Lord, that once was us and still can be if we embrace your love and we go about embracing in your love. And do the work that is truly put to us, the calling that is on each of our lives, to show our love for you by loving one another. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. To the words of the psalmist, Psalm 132 at verse 12. If thy children will keep my commandment, sorry, if thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony, that I shall teach them. Their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. It's a message about dynasty. And coming from the Psalms, they think, oh, they're talking of David. But it is openly expressed to the people of God. It is openly expressed not just to one tribe, but to all those who would come to be sworn unto the, not just the line of David, but the faith that precedes David, to, to do what is asked and to be the, 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 the people who will follow the word that is contained in the ark, the law, the covenant, to keep that simple covenant, to love God with all our heart, mind, and soul, to fulfill those commandments which command us to care for one another, to love one another, to not hurt one another, to not envy one another. These words that have been taught to us, handed down to us, given us from Sunday school, this Bible study, to everyday learning, to lifelong sermons that 
If you're looking for them, they're online now. The children shall also sit upon the throne forevermore. There is hope for tomorrow. There is a place for the children of God in the kingdom of God. And you are meant to dwell among them, to be them. God bless you.